Yo, what's good everyone? It's MJO23Dan back with another video. Today's video is going to be about the Air Jordan 1 black and red colorway from 2016. So I was fortunate enough to pick up a pair at my local mall, submitted about 24 raffles just to get one. I also have a pair coming in from the good guys at Lapstone and Hammer. But what I wanted to talk to you today about was the quality. Now I'd put something out on my Instagram regarding quality and actually one representative from Jordan Brand reached out to me and wanted to kind of break down exactly what went into the production of the 2016. Now because the shattered backboard is the standard in which a lot of people hold a candle to in terms of comparisons with the Air Jordan 1, uh, Jordan Brand decided that they wanted to bring back that same feel because it did have a pretty good positive response um, in terms of leather quality so they wanted to incorporate this style of leather into the 2016 so you have you know the nice supple leather except for the panels of the shoes so where you see the cream color on the shattered backboard you'll see the black on the 2016 now they did this for a reason they wanted to bring it back and pay homage to the 1985 OG now also this is the standard in which we all classify quality on Air Jordans with the nice genuine leather of the 1985 Air Jordan 1. I think this version of the Air Jordan 1, and we all know that there's going to be different versions of the Air Jordan 1 in this colorway specifically, and I kind of like that. Now we're never going to get the OG quality or the OG style of the Air Jordan 1 back, but this version of the Air Jordan 1 is still something that I appreciate. All right, so one other thing that I wanted to bring up in terms of the Air Jordan 1 here is that the leather is all going to be different. So across all lines, uh, if you picked up multiple pairs of this Jordan and you see that the leather quality uh, is somewhat different, you know, as far as the tumble and everything, it's going to be like that because uh, even though it is the same exact cowhide from the uh, shattered backboard, um, there is going to be some variation in it. So uh, it's not something to be too warned about, but um, I, I actually like that a lot more. So not all your pairs are going to line up and be the same. So when I bring this up here to the camera, you're going to see that there is variation of the leather all throughout. Let me go ahead and match this up with your OG. So your comparison there, your OG right here, your 2016 right here. The toes on the 1985 is wider. It's also got more of a slant to it, as you can see. But the color is pretty consistent throughout the shoe, except for the red laces. Now the red laces are gonna be different. So they went with the Varsity Red on the 2016 and you see that like bright fire red even on the uh, two, on the OG. So bringing it back to the 2016, you're gonna see the date in here, 84, 10, 18 with the X. Now this stands for October with, with it being the 10, 18 being the day, the day that this colorway was banned, and 1984 with the X band and that's your size right there. Now on the OG it's a little different here so you have 1985 and then you have 09 to 11. Now 09 represents September, the 11 represents November so this shoe was produced in between in September and November of 1985. Still a size 10 and then the factory right there is TY1. So these last three digits or sometimes it's two digits it'll give you the factory number or the factory code of where this shoe was produced. So bringing it back to the 2016, Jordan Brand did an excellent job recreating a classic shoe. So you have the Wings logo up above. Uh, the check on the, or the swoosh is not gonna be the same on the OG. It's actually fatter. Coming up around the toe, nicely done. Giving you another comparison between the two, there you go. Registered trademark on the Nike, but not on the swoosh. Coming up on the insole, 
you have Nike Air. So my tag is April 13, 2016 to June 3, 2016. Now if you guys were curious about the inside of the shoe, you have a gray strobe board with a dot that's pretty much off center, white stitching right underneath, and then you got white and black strings that line the inside of the shoe connecting the outsole to the shoe with tape right underneath. So one other thing I wanted to give you guys a comparison about is the back tabs here. Uh, specifically on each part of the shoe so uh, you can see that Jordan Brand actually did a pretty good job matching up you know the differences between or similarities actually between the two so this is your OG and this is your 2016 all right so there you guys go that is my review on the 2016 Air Jordan 1 black and red if you have any questions leave me a comment you can also follow me on social media Twitter Instagram at mjoe23dan. If you guys like the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Talk to you guys later. Thanks. Take care.